Welcome to Politics and Why with Sky Lifting the Curtain. It's the Schneps Media's new series on lifting the curtain behind the scenes on New York government and politics. And I have someone here with me, Ross Wallenstein, who has worked behind the scenes in a communications capacity and on campaigns. And now he just started his own firm. So Ross, congratulations on your new firm, Wall to Wall Communications. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's good to see you. It's good to be here. It's great to see you. So so tell us how it's going. You want to start from the beginning or you can start with what you were just working on? Um, so I was just working on, I was running communications for David Weprin's uh, city controller race. Um, but ended at the end of June. Um, and that was fun. It was a citywide race. And uh we had some good traction and, and, and I had some fun doing it and working with some great people. Um, and before that, I spent uh, about eight years at, at PR agencies. And, and before that, about 12 years in, in government and on campaigns. And after 20 plus years of working for other people, I decided I want to go and do it for myself. So it's fabulous. So you have a cool website. I checked it out. So that's up I and do. running. Thank you. And, and glad you, yeah, What's glad you took a look. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of good feedback on that. I've gotten a lot of good feedback on on the name. First of all, people are, uh, you know, thought I was rather clever. I didn't I didn't want to use my 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 name. Um, so I took a spin on it and, and came up with wall to wall. I thought that was also it's a uh, it's, you know, evocative of wall to wall media coverage. Um, so it, it has a double meaning and uh, people seem to like it. Yeah, it is. It's cool. So are there any clients that you want to talk about that you're working with right now? Um, no, I'm uh, still reaching out to uh, basically everyone I've ever met ever and saying, hey, I'm doing this. Send me some business. Um, I have a few very real possibilities. I just got uh, my first letter proposal out the door a few minutes ago, um, and I'm hoping to hear back soon on that. Um, I have, you know, meetings and calls and, and people are being really gracious and, and really nice and, and welcoming. And, you know, everybody I've spoken to says that working for yourself is the best thing you could possibly do, but it's um, obviously terrifying at the same time. Right. Um, so there, you know, a lot of people are, are willing to help and, and it's, it's been great so far. Yeah, that's fantastic. It is a great time for people to work for themselves because we're also independent now, having worked from home and been mm-hmm. on the schedule. So it seems like the next step for a lot of people. Yeah, no, it was a, uh, it was a next you know logical step. And and like I said, I I've worked for for some good people and and have done a lot in the last twenty years. And and I just you know kind of want to try it on my own and and see what happens. But I I, I think people are willing to to take a chance. And I, I, I know what I know and I know how to do the things that I've been doing. And I just, I just want to do it for myself and see if I can make that work for, you know, uh, individuals and businesses and, and nonprofits and, and political candidates and, and just kind of spin off and, and work with some good people, but do it independently. Fantastic. So what kind of client should we send your way, Ross? Uh, you know, anybody with, uh, uh, the need for, um, the, the intersection of, say, public affairs and media relations, um, crisis communications, thought leadership, op-ed development, um, stakeholder outreach and communications, you know, basically the whole gamut of things that I've been doing for, uh, you know, PR agencies, for elected officials, for campaigns. I just want to take that and, and replicate it and, and kind of, you know, obviously I'll, I'll do a host of things and I'm happy to do things that are not so fun, but the things that I like doing, um, I'd like to focus on those. And it's, and it's really, you know, I think the niche that I have is, is um, besides the public affairs background and the political background, um, there aren't a lot of people who came out of politics and, and have worked uh, on the media side and communication side as well. Um, a lot of people who work in politics tend to stay in politics or, or then focus on, on policy um, or go and do lobbying. Um, I have taken my background in, in New York politics and have, you know, kind of transitioned over to, to managing communications programs for, um, you know, uh, corporations, uh, small businesses, nonprofits, public private partnerships. And I just want to take that and replicate that across the board. 
cool. So now, Ross, let's get your thoughts on what's happening in the city. You worked on the David Weprin campaign, and I was proud to have him on my show, Politics yeah. and Sky with Sky. We did our three questions in three minutes to get to know him. Um, and we ran with the boring but competent. That was a little soundbite that came out of it, which was something that the campaign played around with, which was kind of fun. But um, what do you think is going to happen now in the city? What are your thoughts on Eric Adams and now Brad Lander and the progressive city? <clears throat> yeah, so, um, you know, I think uh, I've been saying for a very long time, probably more than a year that that uh, Eric Adams was going to win, that he was going to be mayor. Um, I think it came down to at the very end, uh, uh, Adams and Catherine Garcia for a lot of people. Um, and, and I think that played out, right? It was the, like a two point or one and a half point spread between the two of them at the end of the day. Um, I think Garcia ran a, a great campaign and, and you know got into the minds of people who wanted somebody to just straight on manage the city and take the garbage out and plow the streets. Um, I think uh, the borough president um, you know, rose to the top of the pack because of his, um, you know, his background, both as a police officer, as a borough president in the state Senate. Um, I think he had a, a broader coalition behind him. Um, and I think he had a political base. I don't know if Catherine Garcia had a political base um, since she, you know, she obviously had been around for a long time, right? She was um, commissioners and, and worked for, for Mayor de Blasio and, and Mayor Bloomberg, but she um, she didn't really have like a political home, I think, and, and the borough president obviously did in, in his district in, in Brooklyn that he represented in the state Senate and then in the borough of Brooklyn, obviously. Um, so, you know, I think uh, like you, you mentioned the, the city council, I think the fact that uh, the, you know, eventual Mayor Adams will be um, dealing with a city council that is far more progressive than most uh, New Yorkers are used to. Um, I think is both a challenge for him, but I think it's also, um, I think it's really helpful to have a mayor that balances out the city council. If you had a, a very progressive mayor and a very progressive city council, I don't know if that's what New Yorkers would want. I think the fact that the mayor will, you know, kind of um, go head to head with the city council on some things that he doesn't think make sense for the city um, is probably beneficial. I think having you know somebody like that, uh, especially with his background as a police officer, um, you know, I think is is going to be helpful on on um, kind of getting us back on track in, in terms of both in terms of COVID and you know the 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 policing you know crime problems that have been plaguing the city and and people have been noticing and complaining about. I think having a police captain as mayor is is probably going to be. Um, beneficial to a lot of people. Right. Well, thank you, Ross Wallace. Thanks Wall so much. Wall Communications. Thanks for being part of this. Politics and why was sky lifting the curtain. Stay tuned for more episodes.